In this video, we'll explore how you can run and monitor mappings without having to first create the equivalent of a Power Center session. In Power Center, after you create a mapping in the designer and want to run it, you first need to go to the Workflow Manager to create a session for that mapping, and then you need to create a workflow to contain that session. In IICS, those steps are unnecessary. Once your mapping is in a valid state and has been saved, you'll notice that the Run button is enabled, right here in the Cloud Mapping Designer screen. When you click on it, you'll be asked to specify what runtime environment or secure agent that you want to use for execution, and then you can just click Run and your mapping is now running. In Power Center, you would use the Workflow Monitor to view what's running, but in an IICS, if you just want to see what tasks are running that you executed, go to My Jobs, where you will see your run history, and you can drill into the details of a particular run. And just like the workflow monitor, if you needed to, you can download the log files. If you wanted a system-wide view, you can go to the Application Picker and choose Monitor. Here you will see all of the running jobs for all users, and you can see the run history for all of the tasks across your org. That concludes this video on how to run an IICS mapping directly. In the next video, you will see how to create the equivalent of a Power Center session. Thanks for watching.